Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Nerd Doctors. My name is Griffin, and I'm joined with my co-host, Edward. What's up, guys? Today, we're going to do something new that we promised in one of our earlier videos. We're going to be talking about some comics today. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the best comic arcs, in my opinion, of all time, the Phoenix Saga. It takes place in the Uncanny X-Men series by Marvel. If you guys haven't read it yet or even know what it's about, I highly recommend reading it, whether you read it through Comixology, with a Marvel Unlimited app, or just getting a physical version. It is by far one of Marvel's best. Yeah, I agree. The Phoenix Saga is one of, you know, it, it's one of the most iconic comic books out there. If you guys could actually get a physical copy, borrow it, or somehow purchase it, congratulations, because that, that's hard. If there are any viewers who haven't read it, please let us know in the comments. Um, and also let us know what you think of it once you read it, because I agree with Griffin. It is by far one of the best ones out there, certainly one of them that I love. And and I was able to read it in its prime, like when it was coming out, like issue for issue. So loved it. Wow. I'm quite jealous of that. Yeah, uh, the Just for anyone who's curious, the arc starts in Uncanny X-Men number 101, and it goes through Uncanny X-Men 138. Yeah, one of the things I enjoy a lot about comics, but particularly the X-Men comics, and we were talking about this with a friend of ours, shout out to Shane, is how colorful the X-Men comics are and how vivid and diverse they are. You know, there's people from, you know, there's uh, Jewish people in there, there's British people, there's Latins, there's, you know, African Americans. I mean, X-Men is one of the most diverse comic books you could possibly get your hands on. You know, there's someone in there for everybody. You're, you're bound to find a character that you like. And Jean Grey is one of the most powerful mutants. And then when she becomes a phoenix, it just amplifies. The nice thing about X-Men is that, there's, like Edward said, something for everyone. And their powers aren't always good. Like superheroes, they tend to be super. X-Men are just people with powers. And it doesn't mean that the powers are good. Like there's one X-Men who has to tear off her skin to use her powers. That doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, it's... Um... I also love the way that Stan Lee had explained it, you know, because he had created all these other superheroes. And when it came time to the X-Men, he was just like, oh, they were just, they were just born that way, which is simple, but makes a lot of sense. I don't think I have come across an X-Men. Well, th there may have been some stories that I didn't like, but the Phoenix is fantastic. It, it goes all over the damn place. It takes place on Earth in space. There's people from other galaxies chasing people. Um, you know, Jean Grey is chosen by this cosmic entity. Who, what do you think, Griff? You think, I think maybe the question of the of the century. You think, I certainly think so. What are your thoughts? Do you think Phoenix can kick the shit out of Thanos? Oh, yeah, pretty easily, even with Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, because I've seen people like, no way, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that being like, especially Dark Phoenix, she'd fucking wipe them out. Oh, yeah. What is your favorite part of the whole saga, Griff? For me, it's definitely when she turns, you know, Dark Phoenix, when she full blown just is like, you know what, fuck this. It's just about my pleasure and what I want to experience. I think it's the ending, and especially the ending line by the Watcher. It was oh, okay. something along the lines of uh, Jean Grey could have lived to become a god, but it's more imp important to her that she dies a human. And I think that was such a great ending go. line. But yeah, it's it's hard to choose. Like the whole story just revolves around. People trying to manipulate Jean Grey after seeing how powerful she is because everyone wants her on their side. So it starts with, sort of like Mastermind manipulating Jean Grey to joining the Hellfire Club as the Black Queen. And that's what tr what truly awakens the Dark Phoenix. And it just spirals out of control from there with the Shi'ar and Lilandra. It's a massive story. I, I love the Shi'ar, and I hear, yeah, this might be crazy, but I always thought reading the comic and then watching the 1992 Uncanny X-Men ad adaptation of the Phoenix Saga, I was like, Monica Bellucci needs to play Lilandria. I still have hopes for that someday. Hopefully, Marvel, not immediately, but at some point, if it goes on for long enough, goes back to Dark Phoenix. I know we've had so many Dark Phoenix adaptations throughout the years, like 92 wasn't being done in evolutions we had two failed movies but i still want to see it done right i think it could be so cool i agree with you yeah it has to be at some point you know now in the hands of disney and marvel please do it right i think i think maybe so i, I hope so it would just take time to set up because they, they can't rush it maybe as like a tv show do like an x-men tv show that could be fun that could work i could see that 
Yeah, not rush it is, is what I think is important. But the comic book is fantastic, guys. Again, if, if for those of you who haven't read it, man, this could actually be your entrance into comic book world. Like Griff said, you know, it's just a fantastic arc. You literally go from her being this kind and beautiful woman who wants to just help to this being like this dark goddess. It, 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 the comic does span so much things. One of my favorite characters in the entire arc is Gladiator. You know, the the the, the Imperial Guard. Oh, yeah. He seems so badass. I guess, as Edward said, this could be your introduction. If you guys want a comic book list, say so in the comments. We'll we could easily list fifty uh, comic arcs that we just love, or any number. It's <laughs> oh yeah, we could we'll, talk we'll about this as long as you need us to. So let us know, guys, which is your favorite comic book arc. And if you did read the Phoenix Saga, what is your favorite part about it? Who are your favorite characters? Or just in general, who's your favorite X-Men? Who's your favorite X-Men? It. <laughs> I have two. Gambit and Angel. I know I'm like the, you know, there's not that many Angel fans, but Gambit and Angel are my boys. Everybody goes for Wolverine. And villainish wise I'd go for Magneto. Magneto's just badass. What about you? I think Kitty Pride is one of my favorites. I like Kitty Pride and Rogue. And not not the movie adaptations. Oh, yeah. No, I was going to say. <laughs> I don't think there's a bad character in the X-Men. No, I don't think so either. I think you're right. I think they're all great. Even the even the bad ones yeah. are like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wish I had those powers. So Phoenix Saga, guys, those are my thoughts on it. I think it's a fantastic book. Uh, just great, great, great illustration. Great story. Those are my thoughts. Griff, you want to add anything else? Well, that's all. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let us know in the comments who, you, who your favorite X-Man is, and let us know if you want us to do more comic videos, and if you want us to get a list of top 10 comic arcs. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Take care.